Hey everyone, Tristan back with another video. And I was recently searching for a separate wireless number pad or num pad as they are often referred to and uh, ended up with this one and thought I'd do a review on it because it's literally only $20 and it seems to work really well. One of the things that's really cool about it, it's mechanical as well. So it's got mechanical key switches, which you can hopefully hear here when I type on it. So that's really cool. Um, and Again, it's only under $20. It's by Velocifier, and it is called uh, the Mechanical Wireless uh, Numeric Keypad. It's available on Amazon, so check the uh, description field for a link to it where you can uh, purchase it. It's got what they call um, Otimu Blue Switches, which is sort of, I believe, a, a clone of Cherry Blue Switches. So they're not quite as good as Cherry Blue Switches, but... Um, it does have that nice clicky feel, and I think for under $20, uh, it's de definitely well worth it. So you can kind of see here, you kind of hear how that sounds. Uh, it is not Bluetooth, although it is wireless, so it requires a little USB dongle that you have to put in your USB. Um, something that I did notice about that, though, it doesn't work from more than about two feet or a foot and a half away from the USB receiver. So I'm here on an iMac and I have to put the USB receiver in one of the uh, USB ports back uh, right directly into the iMac. It, if you put it further away from that, it won't actually receive. So it's not actually Bluetooth. It uses 2.4 gigahertz wireless um, and uh, it needs to be pretty close to that Bluetooth dongle. Although you could probably use a Bluetooth extension cord um, and work with it that way in order to get the dongle closer to the actual unit. Um, so for under $20, I think this is pretty nice. It's got small little rubber feet um, on the bottom of it, and it feels fairly sturdy. Uh, it takes one AA battery, and I've got an Enna loop in there now, rechargeable. And it has no power switch on it or anything. The way it works is apparently after uh, two seconds, it automatically goes to sleep. And then if you want to wake it up again, you just press any key and it uh, wakes up. So, um, you know, it remains to be seen how long the battery lasts in it. But uh, the performance on it seems pretty well. And, you know, it, for, be, for it being wireless, um, it seems, you know, pretty fast and sturdy. Like, as soon as I press something, it works. Now, why would you want something like this? Well, I've got a uh, space-saving, you know, 10 keyless uh, keyboard here. It's the Happy Hacking uh, keyboard, uh, the Bluetooth version. And I don't have a separate uh, number keypad, as you can see here on the right. This is my magic trackpad here. So this keyboard only has the numbers on the top row here. It doesn't have a separate number pad. So when I'm paying bills or if I want to do anything where I'm entering a large amount of numbers, um, it's just handy to have a separate number pad. And I can just do it faster this way. Or if I want to even do calculations and use like the calculator app right here, I can just use the number keypad, you know, to do that um, just very easily, you know, 100 uh, divided by four, you know, 25 uh, and then clear, you know, so it works pretty well for that purpose. And again, for under $20, having it being mechanical is also nice because this is also a mechanical keyboard as well. Um, although this is Topre key switches, which are much higher quality, um, you know, than these key switches. But, you know, they're both generally uh, mechanical and generally click clicky. So, uh, you know, there are other ones of these that you can get that have maybe different key switches or maybe that are, are not mechanical. I believe there's also one that's actually Bluetooth that doesn't require the little USB receiver. Oh, that, although the Bluetooth ones tend to be a lot more money. Those tend to be like upwards of $50, whereas this one was literally under $20. So but again, for the price paid, I think it's uh, well worth it and I'm quite happy with it. And it's definitely easier to use than the number row on my keyboard when I'm wanting to enter some numbers or, you know, um, pay bills and things like that. So this has been my look of the uh, Velocifier Mechanical Wireless Numeric Keypad. Um, for pricing and availability, see the description field, and for community and discussion, see the comments field.